what is the what the, what the, what are the favorite questions going to come in tomorrow's exam boot shaped heart is tetralogy of fallow box shaped heart is in epstein flask shaped in pericardial effusion egg in cup appearance in constrictive pericarditis and snowman or figure of a it is found in tapvc i'll uh, discuss all these things when uh, uh, radiology may we will keep asking these questions but one question zarur aayega isme se one radiological appearance of the congenital heart disease zarur aayega you will remember me in exam hall okay e sign or figure of three sign is found in coarctation of aorta jug handle appearance in primary pulmonary hypertension Malady rosary defect is small VSD. Hilar dance, if you do fluoroscopy, is seen in case of VSD. Goose neck sign is found whenever there is any endocardial cushion defect. Scimitar sign is in partial anomalous pulmonary venous return. So I will show you all these radiographs in the future exams, mock tests. Okay, I leave the literature for you, but you have to master each of them, doctor. Very simple. Up Google images, right? Then. Google ka images. Sit before computer before Google. You type goose neck sign endocardial cushion. You will get an X-ray of that. See how it basically looks like. Sometimes they will also give an explanation why it looks like a goose neck, right? So these things, unless practically you see one X-ray, you will remember it for lifetime. How will a box shaped Epstein's anomaly? Why it is box shaped? Like that. So, but one, this is very, very high yield area on which a lot of questions come. Foster Kennedy syndrome. What is this basically? Whenever there is any tumor in the inferior frontal area, frontal lobe ke baju mein aapka olfactory nerve rehta. So, anosmia ipsilaterally, and that will lead to that side optic nerve will be there passing underneath the inferior frontal lobe. So, inferior. I mean, ipsilateral optic atrophy, contralateral papillary edema because of rise in intracranial tension. So these are all the important features which you see in case of Foster Kennedy syndrome. Whenever there is an inferior frontal lobe tumor, is what you need to remember. Most common cause for the bacterial nystagmus is what? Whenever most common cause may options may drugs hai to that will be most common. Options may idiopathic hai to that will be the most common. Don't forget. some tricks to survive a idiotic exam huh now sixth nerve where is it involved actually there are two answers in this both fovelli and millard dubla both of them we will uh, release the terrata three four mistakes will be there but don't tell yaro va jao murli bad bhai exam mein pura mistakes hai ha bol ke badna mat karo ha So last time our friend said, entire world is saying that your question paper has got full of mistakes like the lice on the body of the mice. So, but still, sir, considering your effort, whole night bed ke aap paper set karenge, naya paper bolke, respecting that we are coming. So that, that suddenly I remembered day before yesterday and thought, no, no, when my students trust me. To give a correct paper with least mistakes, let me do little homework, especially when exams are nearing. So I sat uh, to choose the questions. Huh? I think this paper has less mistakes. Am I right? Ha. So, chalo. But if the mistakes are there, please send because you are all my extended uh, uh, intellectual continuity. So that's the reason uh, when you you can write what are the possible objections. You can uh, SMS to the helpline number, or you can uh, uh, write a mail, whichever the way. So that we will try to give as much a correct paper with least mistakes. Fovelli, Millard, Gobler, both of them actually. So not Nagel, Benedict, Claude, Weber, Fovelli, Gradinigo, etc. Next to Saturday, Sunday onwards, uh, evening uh, four to eight, we have a general medicine class. So please do come. We will review. neurology cardiology nephrology everything every saturday sunday evening 4 to 8 and uh, our saturday exam will be moved to 1 to 4 instead of 4 to 8 so there is a plan okay so a patient suffers 
सबरकिनाइड हेमरेज सबरकिनाइड हेमरेज में हाइपरनेट्रीमिया रहता एस आई डी एच की वजह से नॉट हाइपरनेट्रीमिया दैट इज वॉच यूनिट टू रिमेम्बा देन वेन एन एर ए पेशेंट इज वीनिंग आउट ऑफ सोडियम वालपेट कामनली वाई विल पेशेंट विल वीन आउट ऑफ सोडियम वालपेट ए हैंडसम लुकिंग पेशेंट विल टेल डॉक्टर यूर सोडियम वालपेट इज गुड बट आई एम लूजिंग माई हेयर यू विल टेल You are already 35, married with two children. Why do you need hair on the top of your head? No, no, doctor, it's impossible. The very basis for which my spouse married is for my curly hair. If I lose, I lose everything. So this sodium malpate I won't take. Alopecia is common with sodium malpate. Weight gain in girls intolerable. Weight gain ak hota hai sodium malpate se. So in logo me next type of drug what you will start? You will be starting the lamotrigine or levetiracetam or anything. So, but always what is the rule? Sodium malpate inhibits the metabolism of the lamotrigine. That's the reason you must be careful. Antiepileptics are not like uh, today I don't want and I can throw away tablet. Why is it not done? If lamotrigine should replace sodium malpate, means what you should do? You should slowly add lamotrigine with increasing dosage and slowly decrease the dosage of the sodium malpate and later on switch over to lamotrigine over a period of time. Slow landing should be there. So that's the reason drug interactions are important. Anti-epileptics, doctor. If you say that I did not prepare, still I am dreaming about the top hundred ranks means impossible, impossible. So you have to. Uh, review definitely one question come on anti epileptics steatoria kitne grams hota hai jaldi batao mithai shop huh? so basically more than 7 grams per day of uh, loss of fat in the stool defines steatoria dm gastroenterology entrance also these are the questions ye level pe dekh leta hai ha so you have to read then most common cause of the lower gi bleeding in children is metals not intussusception anybody answer intussusception oh it's most seductive option that lures you into the uh, quagmire now sclerolicterus kitna bilirubin hai to sclera mein interest dikhayega 3 mg percentage anybody answer 4 can raise the hand oh that makes me happy So three, three is three only. It can't be four. You cannot talk us. My dog is the definitive host, not the humans are the uh, definitive host. So you must know where is human definitive for which organism sexual reproduction occurs in human. Who is the definitive host? Where sexual reproduction occurs? Then skin to soil root, ankylostoma, nacreous, strongyloides. All these are basically. Percutaneous penetration, but not enterobious vermicularis, which is through fecal-oral route. Then, should a gout versus gout? It is the positive birefringent crystals which are found in the case of the should a gout. Ten years ago, recurrent signs of palpable porphyria on the buttocks, classically with arthralgia. What is the diagnosis? Classically, it is a Hennock's Condens porphyria, which is an immune. Complex vasculitis with mucocytoplastic vasculitis, it is called as, is what you will basically come across. Seventy-five year old, ESR is above hundred, and uh, abrupt onset of soreness and stiffness of the shoulders is there. Is a classical history of polymyalgia rheumatica. Polymyalgia rheumatica is considered to be the other end of the spectrum of which condition? This end you have joint cell arthritis. Joint cell arthritis. The other end of that is called polymyalgia rheumatica. Shoulder stiffness, jaw claudication, high ESR. So these are all the important features of it. Uh, you have to basically review. So there are totally 16 uh, rheumatological conditions: SLE, Jogren, rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma, vasculitis, cryoglobulinemia. So those 12 topics may definitely. Two to three questions in general medicine will come. Huh? So every topic may ten fifteen points. जो आप याद रख सकते पक्का पढ़ के रखो. Hmm? Because uh, 
general medicine scoring uh, is a 30 marks ko 20 cross kare to good student 30 mein 20 cross kare to good student 25 cross kiya bole to we have to doubt whether paper is out right but gynos may 30 out of 30 you should get if you want to be in the top 100 you take any student eh? 30 out of 30 27 year old low back pain and stiffness means ankylosing spondylitis so how you treat ankylosing spondylitis pain basically NSI therapy is what you will basically initiate a 50 year old with no past medical history and AS levels are typically ESR levels are typically raised with bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy classical story of sarcoidosis striptease completely facts are all given to you then to treat aspergillus infection what is the best option available how many answers fluconazole ah antifungals which are used for dermatophyte infections which are used for systemic fungal infections you must be quite sure doctor so it is amphotericin b which is basically used Bronchial carcinoma, paraneoplastic syndromes are all important. Most of the paraneoplastic syndromes, endocrine syndromes are all caused by small cell carcinoma. Exception is hypercalcemia by the squamous cell carcinoma. Is what you need to remember. Then, COPD, moderate bolne ke kya criteria hai? Severe bolne ka kya hai? Mild bolne ka kya hai? So, you must be quite sure. FEV1 by FPC less than 0.7 with FEV1 50 to 79 percent will make it moderate basically okay and when it when it becomes severe very severe and the FEV1 percentage predicted is less than 30 percent you become very severe 30 to 49 of FEV1 becomes only severe not very severe so these are the levels of uh, COPD what is the common drug which we use in intensive care unit that lead to hypokalemia? Beta 2 agonistic drugs, LABAS and SABAS. Short acting beta 2 agonists or long acting beta 2 agonists, any beta 2 agonist. Beta 2 agonist, what will it do? It will make the potassium to be driven into intracellular environment. So the extracellular potassium in the plasma become low and hypokalemia will occur. Common clinical practice. Asthma drugs both beta na sister. Nurse Subha Urte Urte hi kya karega night duty mein. Char baje utega aur sabko daant dhone ke baad intensive care patients ko. That is the time where they want to sleep actually patients. So you will wake up and quickly because her duty should be over. Taka 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 clean karo. All student nurses will be cleaning the mouths. And then boogie, 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 they will start the bronchodilators and then you will recognize, oh, my night duty is over, post duty off. Huh? So, this is the time that I have to go for a date. That time you will remember as a postgraduate, right? If you have a post duty off, there are a good number of residencies where there is no post duty off. You are like a South African slave on the warship. Calm, karo, 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 karo. That's what uh, hospitals like NIMS, PGI, Chandigarh, you are like a warship uh, slave. But we have to be some part of our life, uh, at least to tell, remember throughout life, three years of mercenary residency should be there. If the residency is too relaxed, through a, put a life slave banjate. As a residency, you work like a slave, throughout life, you live like a king. That's important. So, Salbutamol is a beta 2 agonist which will drive the potassium inside. Diagnostic criteria of ARDS is what? Basically, what is ARDS? Non cardiogenic pulmonary edema is called ARDS. If at all cardiac failure is there, cardiac failure is there, back pressure will fall on what drains into left atrium? Pulmonary wheel. What drains into pulmonary wheel? Pulmonary capillaries. So, when the heart fails, LV pressure increase, LVA pressure will increase, pulmonary capillary venge pressure will increase and pulmonary edema will be there. So, if the pulmonary edema has a high pulmonary capillary venge pressure means source is what? Cardiac failure. But pulmonary edema is there but pulmonary capillary venge pressure is less than 19. 
That means the source is not cardiac. The source is what? It is increased permeability of the capillaries that led to pulmonary edema, which occurs in ARDS. So ARDS by principle is non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema where the pulmonary capillary vessel pressure which reflects the left atrial pressure should be normal. It should not be elevated is what you have to basically remember. Then coming to community acquired, atypical community acquired pneumonia. What is the organism responsible? Legionella, pneumophila is what you have to basically remember. Yeah. <clears throat> Popuri is asking, is 4 to 8 p.m. Uh, medicine class is available for online students? Very well. Very much available. So just log in online and uh, just like 12 to 2 we will have discussion on Sunday and uh, 4 to 8 we will have medicine class from next week and uh, on Saturday also we have 4 to 8. Uh, uh, so that is very much available for all the online students and uh, any of you want to review general medicine, please do come. On the weekends, uh, you are more than welcome to, uh, we will review uh, all seven branches, cardiology, hematology, neurology, rheumatology, all seven branches. We will take about uh, seven, eight weekends to finish general medicine, but it will have a great impact, ultimate performance. May. Then, a typical community acquired pneumonia is Legionella. Huh, then. 54 year old history of weight loss, loss of appetite. This is very important question, doctor. Reduced weight entry and dullness to percussion in the mid zones of the right lung. Typically, what is the pathology? Right lung may decrease weight entry means some fluid is inside and lung got collapsed. So, it is not expanding freely because the fluid around it. So, there is a decrease in lung air entry because there is a fluid dullness to percussion on the right side is there. There is also reduced chest expansion on the right because of fluid. So, all are suggestive of a right sided pleural effusion. Easy question, but we uh, will give more complicated questions down the line. Adelaide passes, lung collapse along with consolidation, lung collapse along with effusion. Then there is a little alteration in the uh, clinical signs. That is all about pulmonology clinical cases. Pleural effusion has more than 30 means exudate. That typically happens whenever there is bronchogenic carcinoma. Everywhere else it is transudate. Pulmonary embolism, what is the best investigation? Any innocence answered HRCT? No. So, CD angio hmm, is what you will basically do in order to manage this. 28 year old newly diagnosed asthma. Always, what is the best treatment to manage an acute asthma, doctor? Salbutamol. So, short acting beta 2 agonistic agents are considered to be the management. So, step up approach to the treatment of asthma, you have to be 100% sure about. There is a blackout of the screen. Your broadcast okay? Yeah, yeah. It has come back. Now, five year old, uh, uh, if you compare it with him, how will be the newborn? Newborn will have a shorter extremity, larger liver, larger head, but not a larger mandible. I think to tell you that you are uh, taking a MD entrance exam, we, we give such simple questions. Huh? Then, Normal 4 week, what will he do? Morose reflex will be typically positive in him. Recurrent respiratory infections in all these scenarios except tetralogy of fallow. Why will recurrent infections occur basically if the blood flow to the lung increases or decreases? Increases. Pulmonary pleura lead to development of increased respiratory infection. What you have in tetralogy of fallow? Pulmonic stenosis. Because of which decrease in blood flow is there. Pulmonary alleginia will be there, not plethora. ASD, BSD, PDA, in sub chisel may kya hota hai, doctor? Give me the cam. <coughs> ASD, BSD, PDA may? Suppose, so typically, if you are having an ASD, what will happen, doctor? 
left atrial blood goes into right atrium and right atrium into right ventricle into pulmonary artery increase blood flow into pulmonary artery vsd is there left ventricle blood will go into right ventricle and into pulmonary artery so pulmonary clitora perinductus arteriosus what will happen the aorta comes out and pulmonary artery is here between the two connection is called pda so all aortic blood will pass through the pda and enter into enter into pulmonary artery so pulmonary clitora any increased blood flow to the pulmonary field will lead to development of will lead to development of pulmonary infections but what you have in tetralogy of follow there is a pulmonary stenosis where the pulmonary artery is opening from the right ventricle because the decreased blood flow is there so there is no increased respiratory infections if it is tetralogy of Hello, is what you need to remember. Then, boy, age two years history of delayed milestones, depressed tendon reflexes. Will there be muscular hypotonia in cerebral palsy? Very much, it will be there. In fact, in some of the forms of cerebral palsy, hypotonia is the major feature in cerebral palsy. Is what it, generally cerebral palsy means scissoring gait. spasticity increase the tone that is what we expect we don't expect hypotonia but hypotonia is also a feature in some forms of cerebral palsy coming to the newborn babies any jaundice on the first day is considered to be pathological is what you have to be very sure about then how do you define post mature babies who are more than 42 weeks of gestation you call post mature a full term baby showing respiratory distress what is the predisposing factor for respiratory distress suppose if the patient is uh, pre term we can expect highly in membrane disease his hematocrit is very high 75 is very high so that high hematocrit has led to the development of respiratory distress is what you have to basically appreciate then coming to herpes simplex infection it does not respond to cytosine and adenosine but it can it is caused by one type 2 virus when the baby is passing through the genital tract type 2 is below type 1 is above above the diaphragm huh? then pertussis simulation what are the contra indications you have to be very sure any high temperature of 38.5 on routine examination is considered we um, acute illness is a contra indication yeah bronchiolitis bronchiolitis is often confused for which important other diagnosis doctor first episode of bronchial asthma with wheeze and the bronchiolitis they both are close differential diagnosis but in bronchiolitis you will have high grade fever etc etc bronchiolitis also just like bronchial asthma will lead to bronchospasm and lead to hyperinflated lungs because air become sequestered into the lung so that is the common thing even radiologically also both asthma and bronchiolitis will lead to hyperinflated lungs classically is what you need to understand then stuck on crust appearance where do you see impetigo classically alopecia with uh, scutulae classically is a feature of famous then tin tag sign it is also called carpet tag sign is other name given where uh, there are well defined erythematous blocks with partially adherent scales entering a patchless follicle that gives the appearance of carpet tag sign or cat's tongue sign or a tag tin tag sign anything is seen in discoid lupus uh, drug induced lupus uh, sorry discoid lupus erythematosus is what you need to basically remember drug induced pemphigus is which type of pemphigus generally it is a pemphigus vulgaris uh, sorry foliaceous um, by nature different types of pemphigus i think this time dermatology is little tougher what is tough and easy about dermatology anyway we don't know much about dermatology 
Huh? There is nothing tough and easy about it. So those 14 to 12, 12 to 14 topics. So yes, it's like in plain spam figures. Stephen Johnson, uh, Petriasis versicolor, Petriasis rosier, Soriasis. So totally that uh, 15 topics master karo chhod do dermatology ko. 6 ghante se jada ro mat, ro na mat. It's not worth your tears. Anesthesia also 5-6 hours. Totally 4-500 points will be there. Halothen kya hota, which is a renally eliminated, liver elimination, what is my, uh, different circuits, anesthetic circuits, dirtiest topic on the planet. Huh? Maple sun A, maple sun B, by the time you finish, uh, you are drained, anemic ho jate. So, jaldi fada fad padna ho subjects, uske upar jada deer bite na mat. Right? So, very important doctor, last moment may, time conservation is important. Saboric dermatitis. Winter may aggravate hota, summer may aggravate nahi hoga. Circuit of choice for spontaneous ventilation. Typically is Magdal circuit. So, if the patient is having spontaneous ventilation, there must be a coordination between the circuit and the patient. So, for spontaneous ventilation, Magdal. 16 year old with ocular trauma at 10 years of age, which drug you want to avoid in pre-anesthesia medication when he is posted for intraocular lens surgery? Where generally to do an intraocular lens surgery, you need to have a good pupillary diameter. Morphine kya karega? Pinpoint pupil banayega. And that won't let you to do anything ocular surgery. So don't give morphine in the pre-anesthetic medication. So the intelligence based question. Huh? Variety dikha na padega na, roti in questions puche to maza nahi aata. Huh? Now, cessation of eye movement, absent corneal reflex, half dilated pupils, which level of goodal mein hai? Goodal we took very easily, no? So, examiner, if they want to complicate your life, mess up your life, he can give this kind of combination and tell, do you remember the table? Huh? So, stage 3, plain 2. So, all good stages, but you are not What is excreted by the biliary root, basically? Vecuronium, rocuronium are basically by the biliary root. These are all metabolized by plasma cholinesterase, but not lignocaine. 